Okay, um, some people are having some difficulties using the new movable type platform, so I thought it'd be easier if I just showcased it using Cam Studio. So rather than looking at my ugly mug, here is movable type 4.1. Movable Type 4.1 is still on the same URL, blogs.rbi.co.uk, and still the same sign in as you had for Movable Type. Now just let the squirrels do their magic, and as we load up, we go into the dashboard. Now, as you can see, things are a bit different here. It gives you the latest stats on your, so, so the last entries you've made, recent comments you've had, as you can see, it equates down here, and the tags you're using. Now hopefully down the line we'll be able to add hitbox and other uh, web metrics to allow you to have a running profile of, of your traffic. Um, as you can see also there's uh, your profile options so you can edit your profile. So this will also be a good thing we'll, we'll hopefully concentrate more on as we uh, establish more community elements to movable type 4.1. But for the moment let's concentrate on just sheer posting. Now, as a default, you should have the blog that you're posting the mo posting to the most here. So it should say left field for David Field, for example, Woodway Girl for Mary. If it doesn't, you have to find your blog by going to System Overview and Blogs. If you're like me and a bit of a blog master general, you will have a list of blogs that you're using. But make sure that you are here. Now. <coughs> Now to create an entry, there's uh, two methods. You can either go to create entry here, or you can just click on this right entry button. Now this is the create entry area. It should look pretty self-explanatory, but uh, please make sure that the format is on rich text so you can use all the WYSIWYG options. And please make sure that on display options you have publishing ticked so that you can use the publishing status options. Now. The wizard controller should, is pretty familiar, it's very wordy, so you can use uh, bold, italics, underline for example, you can use hyperlinks, but, and rather than using the code you can just use, use that, very, very simple. Um, and if you wanted to, you can add go to HTML mode. Now, the only time I'd see you guys using HTML mode is if, for example, you're using video. So if you want to embed video, click on this first and then, then then paste in your embed clip and it should work fine. So that's a little subtle difference there but apart from that it should be a lot easier in terms of uh, being able to write a post within this format. Now to upload a photo, I know a lot of you are having some issues with this, you very simply click on this button here that looks like a portrait landscape and this will open a, a Ajax control, just let the squirrels do their, do their magic. Um, as you can see, this will give you an inventory of thumbnails and all the photos that you have uploaded to movable type. To upload a new image, you simply click, click on the upload image button, browse to your picture and press upload. Now once the scrolls have done their work, you uh, give it a nice little meta description and data, tag it for future reference and also here it gives you options of where you want it aligned within the text within the body of the text so whether you want it centrally located to the left to the right or whether you want to display image <coughs> image and the size of the image now be wary of this for bigger sizes so you you'll want to make it smaller so it fits within the blog template you could also link the image to a full size version in, um, as suggested there I'm going to do that. I'm going to go back to the asset manager because there's already images uploaded there. Now to play with an already existing image, you just simply click on the image, press continue, and this will give you the same pop-up. So again, you can delineate the size and the width of the image, where it goes, for example. And you can also remember these settings if you do wish. Now apart from images, the rest of it should be quite explanatory. You've got title here, body here, extended entry rather than pasting in the in the box below, you've got it next to it, so you can click between them here. Um, you've got your categories here, tags and an excerpt for Google. You can preview at any point to show you how it looks like, how, how it should look like live. It auto, this movable type 
it's auto saves so hopefully you won't get any more of that hanging and losing uh, any work that you're doing and once you've done you click on the publish section or scheduled and away you go press save and it's similar to Moveable Type 3 um, and that's that really as for comments to manage any comments you get you'll automatically get um, comments sent through to you like before but if you want to just look at the comments you have go to manage and comments so any messages you can have you can accept them or junk them or whatever you wish um, you can even edit them or reply to them here rather than going through the front end which I know frustrated a lot of you now apart from that I don't think you've got much to worry about um, in this manage area you've got entries, comments, explanatory, assets, assets are for example any pictures you've uploaded, any uh, PDFs or any MP3s you may have um, categories are important for you to uh, delineate between content tags you can specify um, but apart from that these are things you shouldn't really need to worry about so there you go, enjoy